Okay, in this video I want to talk about cloning repos as well as a few other settings. Uh, just some odds and ends that may be of value to you. We have here this uh, lovely green button on the uh, page of your, uh, the home page of your repo. Every one of your repos will have this button. And you can either open in desktop, which will download and open up the GitHub desktop app and, and create a copy of the repo right there for you. Or you can download a zip. This is a compressed file, the zip file, of your entire repo. Then you can expand it and then use the folder that you've created, that you've downloaded and created, and you can open that inside of GitHub Desktop. Now, before I do this, since I already have this in GitHub Desktop from my previous video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come inside here on my Thursday one, and I'm going to remove it. Now, I want to note here that I have inside of brackets. Here it is. This is my Thursday repo. So it's here. I go into GitHub Desktop and I right click and remove. That removes it from here. So it's gone from GitHub Desktop. It's not in my list anymore. But if I come back to brackets, it's still here. So I still have the actual files themselves. It's just that GitHub Desktop is no longer looking at the folder. It's no longer monitoring it. If I want to actually get rid of it, then I need to delete the files themselves. I can do it from Finder or from inside my IDE. If I delete that, now the files are gone locally. Now that means that I don't have the repo on my computer. I've deleted all the files on my computer, but they still exist here. If I refresh this, I haven't done anything to this. All I've done is my local copy is now gone. So let's take a look at this. If I open in desktop, yeah, go ahead, open in GitHub desktop. There it is. Where do you, where do you want it to clone as? Well, this is what we were doing before up inside of here. If we just selected clone, we would have picked uh, Thursday could have been found in the list. We could have gone up to file and said refresh the list. It would have found it as well. These are the ones um, up on the server. So Thursday, yes, I want to clone it. I'm going to do it right here. Boom. Okay, now I've got Thursday. I've got a new copy, and I come back in here. Sure enough, there they are. There's the files, and there will be that .git folder that shows up. That doesn't show up here, but it is actually in there. Okay, so we have... Um, that's the... Oops, from in here, inside of the cloner download. That's the clone button open in desktop. So it opens in the desktop application. Download zip. If I click on that, it's downloading it. And I can show in Finder. Yeah, there it is. So there's my file. I can move this. Let's go into documents, code. Where's my GitHub folder? There it is. And there's the zip. Now, if I were to open this here, there it is. So these are the same things. The only thing that's different here is that you'll see there's no .git folder inside the zip. So I've downloaded all the files, but I haven't turned it into a repo yet. If I want to do that, then I would go back into GitHub Desktop after having downloaded the zip, and I can say, add. Hey, let's go find this one. This is where I want to create the repo. I'll say open, create and add the repository. There it is, Thursday master. This is now a repo. If I come back into Finder, inside Thursday master, sure enough, there's the .git folder. Now this is a local copy of the repo. It's the exact same as this. Okay, so we have the ability to download it two different ways to open it up. One opens it in the application, the other one the zip, and then you add it manually. But either one works. They do the same sort of thing. All right, so I have the local copies. Now, what if you want to get rid of a repo on GitHub? Well, to do that, we go into Settings, scroll down to the bottom here, into the Danger Zone. Archer would be proud. And we want to delete this repository click on delete this repository and inside of here 
we type in the name of the repo that we want to delete. This is the only confirmation. So you understand that it's going to be gone. Yep, I'm good with that. Now it's gone. And I can go back to one of my other repos, back to the learning GitHub one. So on GitHub, I have destroyed that copy. That repo is now gone from GitHub, but I still have them locally. So here's Thursday, here's Thursday Master. I still have all the files, I just, I don't have it on GitHub anymore. So having the files locally means that I can recreate it back on GitHub. I just have to go over to the GitHub desktop. Here's Thursday, here's Thursday Master. These two are still being tracked locally. Now Thursday was the one, this repo, you can see I, I've got the sync button here. And this one is deleted from GitHub, this one, instead of having a sync button, has a publish button. So this one's still in this kind of initial state. It's got two changes that haven't been committed yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this one. Okay, it's gone. Jump over to Thursday Master, the one that hadn't ever been pushed up. And we're going to publish this one. So what are we gonna call it? Well, not Thursday Master, but I'm gonna call it Thursday new copy of Thursday. Don't want to private, publish the repository, pushing it up to GitHub. Now back on GitHub up here, if I go to Thursday, which is the repository that we deleted just a minute ago. And there it is. There's Thursday. So we've got this repo uh, back up inside of uh, GitHub. Now we've got two changes. Let's put those up. So we've published it, so that means we've created it. Now I want to take these and do my initial commit. I could have done this first, but just doing the two steps for, for no reason other than <laughs> just that's the way I did it. Uh, so the initial commit uh, added readme and git ignore. So commit and sync. Publishing again, that's pushing it back up. If we jump back in here, we refresh this, and there we are. Two files are there, one commit, one branch. We're back to where we were at the very beginning. So you can delete it locally. You can delete it on the GitHub website. As long as you've still got a copy in both places, you can work with this. You can recreate it in the other. And remember, it's this .git folder. This is the one that really turns it into the repo. If I were to come back into the desktop and I were to remove it from here, so it's no longer tracking it, and I came back in here and I were to delete that .git folder. Now I can come back into GitHub Desktop and say, hey, you know what? I want to add a repo. Yeah, this is the one right here. This is the, the folder that I want, so I'm going to open that. Create and add repository. And there's Thursday Master. And I'm back to the same state I was before. Now I can publish it. Now I can commit the changes. Now if I do this, I'm going to want to delete it online first so that I'm recreating it but you can go back and forth with this as much as you want it's just that dot git folder that's what locally says that you have a repo there all right so I hope this helps you out any questions leave them in the comments below and as always thanks for watching